In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and format images in WordPress. And this is how you can insert a picture into a blog post. Okay, first thing to do is to add a new post. So come over here to Posts, and then Add New. And what I'm going to call this post is Bluefish, and you'll see why in a moment. And then I'm going to type a bit of text in. And now I'm going to insert the picture. So what I'm going to do come up here where it says upload or insert and click here where it says add an image and there are various options you can have. You can upload it from a file on your computer which is probably the most common way of inserting pictures into WordPress. You can upload it from another URL on another website. One thing if you decide to do it this way you must be sure that you've got the um, copyright holders consent otherwise you get into all sorts of hot water with that. Or you can select them from a media library. The one that I'm going to use here is from computer because this is probably the way that you'll upload most files um, or rather upload most photographs uh, onto your WordPress blog. So select from computer and then click here where it says select files. This window opens up and this is the directory that I'm going to upload the picture from and the one that I'm going to choose here is bluefish.jpg and click on open and you can see here it's uploading and you can see the picture and I can give it a title here, Bluefish, it's the one that's the um, automatically been assigned so I'll leave it at that. I can have some alternate text so we'll say this is a fish I caught on my holidays. You can put in a caption if you like. Uh, I have to go underneath. Let's call this blue fish. Helps when you spell it right. There we go. And you can have a description. And this can be full of keywords if you like. So we can say a blue fish. And then you can choose the size that you want to have it. Um, you can have it as a thumbnail, medium, large or full size. I'm going to leave it at medium because that's what the uh, software has selected. And you can align it. You can have it to the left of the text. You can center it within the text or have it to the right of the text. I'm going to have it to the left of the text and then click here insert into post and there we go you can see what it all looks like and the format I'm going to click there for image and preview it just to see what it looks like There we go, that looks OK. So I can close this window now and then click on Publish. And there we go. Now, I did actually select the wrong radio button there. I should have selected Image. So I just click on that one and then click on Update. And there we 
go. That's sorted it out properly. And I can click here on View Post. And there we go. There's the photograph inserted into my blog post. Now, in case you were wondering, I did select a line left for the photograph, but because it was in its own paragraph with nothing else, it showed up as being simply on its own. If you had it in there with text, this is what it would look like. You would have the text to the right of the image. And I just altered it here so that you could see what it would look like.